Good morning. Okay, my husband borrowed the camera yesterday. So, had to fix that. All right, outfit check so I can move on. I just got a little jacket with zippers and then shoes. Pants, nothing fancy today. Wow, we're crooked, aren't we? Okay, so it is, today I got here early. It is 6.20. Um, hmm. Okay, so when I come in, I plug my computer in. Actually, yesterday I didn't take anything home. I'm trying my absolute hardest um, to not take any work home, which is hard because I'm not used to it. But more than anything, if I don't take work home, then I'm behind. And I have to, I'm training myself to be okay mentally be like at ease um, if I am behind. Let me tell you, it's not working. So I have to, I have to try, I don't know how else to say it, to be lazy and to not care, which is really hard for me because I just want to get it done. I can't stay past three because I go pick up the little one. So I try to come in early. If I take work home, I don't really get to do it until he goes down or after, you know, dinner's, you know, lunch for the next day is done. I don't do meal preps because we do the HelloFresh. And so it's a like a whole recipe, something like a salad or a particular something that if you do it on a Sunday night or Sunday, it kind of doesn't, go well um if you eat it like on friday or something so my husband and i have been taking turns so it's been a little bit uh you know we're still trying to learn so it's just you know if i get get to do work it's after that and then getting ready for bed and the next day and all of that good stuff so it's past at midnight or past midnight and then i don't want to wake up in the morning then i'm late in the morning and then I'm off to a late start that day, the next day. So I'm trying to still figure out my routine and trying to get all of my things done. Um, so anyway, that's kind of where I stand. I'm sure I'm not alone. I'm sure a lot of you are, are stuck in that place too where you just, there's so much to do and there's never enough time to do it. And know that new teachers, it's never ending. Just when you think that, okay, I'm gonna stay after school, I'm gonna stay up all night, I'm gonna work on this this weekend, I'm gonna get it all done. You get it done, and then the next day or the next week, there's 26, yesterday I left with 26 unread emails. Um, when I thought I had caught up with emails, and then those 26 emails have 15 to-dos attached to that, and then you have a meeting, and there's 10 more to-dos, and then those to-dos have to-dos, and so then you're back at square one. So. You kind of like, um, you kind of like kill yourself trying to get it done and trying to stay on top of things um, when you have other responsibilities. Before baby, yeah, I could stay up here till 10 o'clock at night, and get it all done, I'm fine, and you know, get it done, or take it home, and stay up, and you have the energy, and you have the time, and you have the space in your agenda. Not, not now, not anymore, maybe later when he gets a little bit older, but anyway, so that's kind of where I am. Uh, we had a skills USA officer meeting yesterday, so I have a few to-dos on that one. I've got to plan, plan a few things. And then I went to Target and bought folders because my freshman with a folder thing has been working really good. And so then I want to do that with my sophomores. So they were 50 cents, which I probably could have and should have gone to um, Office Max or uh, Office Depot, maybe Staples, and they probably would have had the 10 cent folders, but I just, I was pressed for time. Besides, they stopped by Burlington, so I had a really rush. So I went to Target, I had to pick up other things too, but this one's like a plastic folder, so it'll last longer. So I've got three different colors, so four at each table and then three different classes. So I got 12 of each. And so I'm gonna give these to the students today and they're going to keep their journals that we're currently working on in here. 
their business portfolio. I'm gonna have them today put it in their binder. We're gonna do a picture check to make sure that everybody has their picture on their binder. And um, we are going to today do the nail filing, finish the, the, the care, the cuticle care. Uh, and then file the actual nail, clean underneath the nail, and then go from there. I might even do the bubble nail treatment. I think about that. It's uh, 6.25, so I gotta get, I gotta get, get, get. And then I also brought, y'all look, from home, my husband was trying to do the wheels. Let me walk over there. Uh, trying to uh, put the wheels in, but he wasn't able to because it's a, a square peg. They were in the garage, I need to dust them down. But um, this one is like a, a tool cart, and then that one is just, you know, a cart like this one. So I might switch it out, I'm not really sure, but I have five tables and there's five slots. And these bins go in the slots. And so what I think I'm going to do is this, like my original idea, put the bins that are back there, I'm gonna put them here at the front of the room so there's a lot of crowding back there so there's also these like folder uh containers or folder like bins that you can put folders in so i think i'm gonna go grab i saw some at target but they're like green and red and i don't like those colors but and the black ones were really nice and really expensive so i wasn't gonna get those but i go and find the folder holders and then we'll put the folder there uh on back shelf because th this this is this is driving me absolutely insane and this doesn't work out for me so we got to figure out the binder situation and then figure out the kit situation friday tomorrow i'm going to have them go through their kit because a lot of them look at this they brought it like that to like they haven't even taken it out of the package which probably me like look this one i can't guarantee oops i can't guarantee that that's not not going to be there tomorrow right so um freshman did a lot better but we still have to we got to fix some things so tomorrow friday i took, made the executive decision that i am going to not teach tomorrow and we're going to do this kit situation and then they're going to take home the supplies that they need that needs to be home because everybody just brought everything so those videos are up oh i need to put post those videos so yeah, that's what we're working on. All right, have a good one. All right, so we have the table set up for today's manicure. We've got the board up here that the students are going to come in, take a look. We've got the basic manicure and then the supplies that they need. Um, they do see up here on the board the table set up for my station and they can walk them here and they can see what all the supplies they're going to be using for today. Things that I pass out, I just keep them to the side. And then they come over here and they can, on the side counter, grab their supplies, like so. Um, these are some just extra, some that don't have enough for everyone, so they'd share, but everybody will get their supplies from here, which will save some time as far as passing out. And then tomorrow we're going to be uh, filling up uh, containers and labeling bottles with their kits. So that is what we have for today, guys. Okay, so. Uh, we're done in the morning classes with the morning classes. Today we did the basic manicure with the sophomores. And I have been on the back, oh wait, this isn't it, let me find it. Oh, here it is. On the back of my, my calendar in July, my planner here, I have already started my list. So this, um, the sanitize, I got this from Burmax. They're the little pills to drop in the water. This is all I have left. I started with three, I used them last year and then this year. So I have one left. So I'm gonna write it in the back of my journal here, my calendar, my agenda, booklet, whatever you have. And I'm gonna put that I need to buy sanitize manicure bath i do have the salts uh the petals and the liquid that goes in the water but i use those for other services as i teach the students but this here in particular um 
I do need to reorder. So then this allows me that as I'm going through, I'm writing down what I'm running out of or what I think of like, oh, uh, I need to order that for next year. So another thing I also need to put on their supply list is a folder so that they have that folder and I don't have to buy it, it's in their supply list. So I'll do an add to supply list uh, section and then I'm gonna put a plastic folder and plastic so that it lasts a long time. Um, and then they could use it in the other grade levels as well. So this uh, is, is it there. So I have, and let me turn it this way. I have my setup right here. So I'm going to put all of my product for my basic manicure, although we're not gonna go over this again soon, but I have all of my, got my little markers right here and my matte pencils. I got it in a little cup because this is where I do my, my, my teaching. So I have this here um, and I just lift this up and down. My camera's connected and I gotta do something about this wire. But um, when I'm doing this here, and I'm gonna use it tomorrow, I just pick up my board and move this out of the way and bring over my next board, which is for my soft, my freshman, which I'm doing aesthetics in the afternoon or whatever lesson. Or whatever lesson that I'm working on. So I don't have to like undo everything. I just keep it on this plate. Now I'm gonna do undo it because I'm done with it for this week, but to share with you and some of these products they go back to the reception or to the spa bar and some of the products I keep and some we, we throw away um, like the disposable stuff but products go back on the product shelf um, these if it gets dirty I toss them and if they're clean enough I reuse them sometimes just because of demo purposes and because I run out and I don't mean to be gross but it's just demo I'm not doing it on anyone if the front is dirty like this one I got a little bit of cuticle uh, remover on it I just turn it around and I use it this way I just do what you got to do so this board here I've done a video on it before it was $2.99 from Hobby Lobby it's cork board on the bottom so it doesn't slide too much and it's just got like a snake skin on the top. So I got these a long time ago. These are like table placemats and so that's kind of how I, I do that. As far as for my handouts, I have a little clip here. This is my, and I label it first period, second period and third period and I clip them like so. So I have them together. This is what the students are working on. This is what's in their folder. And then I have this right here at the bottom of my to-do pile. Um, and so, and then I have my example of my, what I did last year, my journal. I didn't do journals like this with the spine this year. I just did not have time to make them in the cut and paste, but I'm gonna do it for next year um, instead of the this piece. Or I don't know, I'm kind of liking this because it's like smaller and then doesn't take this space. But I still love this because everything goes on here, but these are just small. I don't know, I'll figure out what I like best. But I have my example. So like this, when I was making my notes, I had my cheat sheet in case I forgot or in case I you know, needed to go back and add something. So this is lives here. Hey guys, all right. So I am working on my to-do piles and I, one thing kind of leads to another and another and another, y'all. Crazy, crazy. So I just decided, you know what? I'm just gonna stop where I'm at. And I'm just gonna eat, because you know what? I'm hungry. Um, and then I go wash my hands. Okay. Went to go wash my hands and then my principal came in to ask question and then I went to go get what he was looking for. And then here I am, trying to have lunch. And it is 11.30, I've got 30 minutes before the students get here, so I gotta hurry. And my almonds, they have rice with chicken and carrots, some lemon. So yes, like I was saying, I um, started to do check email, do one thing, and then that led to another and another and another, and it's kind of like busy season right now. So I really feel like, uh, well, hopefully, I'm not the only one 
that's going crazy losing my mind trying to get everything done um, and if there's anyone out there that is in the same boat I hope you don't feel like you're alone because you're not especially the new teachers especially the way this year's been so many students out I swear it's like every day I get some notice of a student not coming in and it makes it difficult because how do I know you know where they left off on and how to catch them up and the students that have been out I've been trying to catch them up but I also you know the time spent on that and the time spent on the students and it's typically okay as far as like a regular school year but just a little bit extra this year so and then getting back into the swing things is kind of difficult like just getting back to the routine hard to do so mm, it's cold um anyway wanted to share with you mm. oh it's open excuse me say membership packet is in super excited so here you get your membership benefits guide quick start quick access guide sorry you get your theme poster for the year super excited for that one i love the theme for this year and then three new recruitment posters so anyway i like to laminate these and post them up one half skills usa week totally love to pull those up okay so then also before all of that you know cycle can you stop i was planning the skills usa launch party so i'm the campus skills usa advisor how that happened i called to ask a question and then when i hang up the phone i that was my responsibility now <laughs> like the, they were like okay tag you're it and so that's kind of how that happened and so on the campus i'm kind of the one that helps guide the new teachers get them their new chapter you know organize uh, plan put the meetings together so it just is kind of just kind of what i do and so because i'm also i also have a district officer um been to the washington leadership um training and all that good stuff so i kind of have the information and i feel like uh at least i hope i'm a good resource for our teachers so um, I help organize and plan and execute everything Skills USA on our campus. Planning a launch party, we had one the year before COVID. It was 2019. It was awesome. Loved it. Successful. Fun. It was just really awesome. Maybe it was 2018. I can't remember, but it was really great. And. Um, we got all of our teachers on, all our advisors on campus to participate. Students came after school. We had snacks. We did registration with all the teachers all at one time. Our my officers led the opening ceremony and the PowerPoint and the we did a spirit stick and we did games. We learned all of this from leadership summer leadership camp, which you go to if you have a district officer, which if you don't have one, you should have one. It's amazing. Having a district officer is what Ms. Martinez used to always talk about. And so I always dreamt that was like my teacher bucket list. Like I'm going to have a district officer. I'm going to have a district officer. And so finally, the year that I did it, I had three. And then I had, um, after that I had two. And then I had this year, I have one. Super excited for it. We had our first meeting yesterday, um, planning fall leadership and we didn't get to go to summer camp because of COVID this year but um got a little catching up to do so my sophomore she is our district aid officer and so we are well represented super excited and just ready hey sometimes i just can't anyway i forgot what i was saying I just stopped and do something. Whatever it was, whatever I was saying, I'm sure it was important and it was great and it was fun. But I seriously forgot what I was saying and my chicken is cold and it's hard. Okay though. I got to do important things. New teachers, just hold on. Okay. It's a crazy year. We all know that. It's busy. This is a busy. Well, I'm not gonna say that. It's busy the whole year, unless if you're one of those teachers that you're just here for the decent paycheck and the convenient schedule. That you just come to class and you're like, open the book. Here's a worksheet. Go home. 
Like if that's you, then whatever, life isn't great. You're never busy. But if you're the teacher that's like, love what you do, passionate, you're involved, you wanna do better for the better of the students and for the students to be better, there's always something to do. There's always a pile of papers that you need to get through or you know, worksheets that you need to, you know, modify to make better for this year. And when I say worksheets, I mean like fun worksheets, not like boring worksheets. Mm. I was talking to a teacher and she was like, oh no, I, why don't you do worksheets? And I was like, no, no, no. I, I, and so I was trying to explain how I do like the packets and you know, the lessons, you know, from there and how my worksheets are theory. And so she wasn't understanding where, that the communication wasn't coming across right. And so she was just very adamant on, I don't do worksheets. And so I was telling her, I was like, what kind of worksheets are you referring to? So when she explained them, she meant like copied out of a workbook from a textbook worksheet. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. That's not how my last, my worksheets are. My worksheets, my worksheet could be a head chart where you're designing, you know, what the headdress for the model is gonna be for Houston Fashion Week or the nail design that we're gonna put on the next, you know, hopefully Alan Tude fashion show on the runway. Um, or how to diagram eyebrows or how, like it's a, it's a theory type worksheet that goes hand in hand with a lab hands-on worksheet or skill, if that makes sense. So if you're, you know, the, the teacher that's involved and you know you always want to do better and learn more things so that you can have more things to teach your students there's always something to do there's a, and if you're involved on your campus with culture or curriculum or different committees you know for the better of the campus as a whole um, there's always something to do there's always a meeting there's always a to-do list and we're always going to complain and it's always going to be hectic and crazy and busy especially if you have a, a home life of some sort um children you know at a second job you work in a salon that's super hard you know there's always something to do you're always tired and it's non-stop it's literally non-stop so just if you're a new teacher and you feel that that's you i know this is like super cold if you're a new teacher and you feel that that's you just try to find your balance. Try for it not to wear you down because it will wear you down. Okay, hopefully that's the last interruption of the day. I'm gonna stop right here because um, I'm gonna go mad slightly. I can't finish posting, recording anything. So I'm gonna go. Bye. Okay, you know what I feel like? I feel like oh, it's time to go home. I honestly feel like a plate that's holding marbles. I am the plate and the marbles are everything that I have to do. And I'm doing this, like seriously. Just wanted to share that in case you know, you're not alone.